welcome everyone. It's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and today I have a frame that I've created. I've used some inspiration from a pair of pants I found in an advertisement and I love how the colors overlapped each other with those little splotches of paint. So I'm starting off with a Tim Holtz mini frame panel. This has two pieces so you have the backboard and then that top frame fits perfectly on top. To get this started, I want to add some gesso to this panel, and this will help my colors pop once I start painting on it. So I'm using the Dina Wakely white gesso, and I'm just going to cover this panel completely. Now that my backboard is completely dry, I'm going to start adding in some color, and I'm using bubble gum from Illusions. This is a really bright pink. I'm going to be using a dry brush technique and what I mean by dry brush is I'm not going to add any water at all. So this will help me get really nice brushy strokes. I'm also thinning that paint out on my glass mat so that I can get those brush strokes just the way I need them. I'm going to speed this up a little bit as I go through the process so that we can get all the colors in and it can still be within the time allowed. So as I'm working in my pink color, I am making sure that I have the top portion heavily covered and then it kind of ombres out for my next color. And that will be carved pumpkin and that is a distress color. I have wiped away some of the paint with a paper towel off my brush and again no water. So now I'm going to work this orange right up into the pink. My next color is mustard seed and I'm going to use the same technique and I'm going to make sure that my brush is pretty much cleaned out. I have cleaned it with water and then I've blotted out all the water with a paper towel just to get some of that orange and pink out of it. So as I'm adding the yellow I'm letting it overlap into the orange. My next color is a super bright green. You can use twisted citron and again I'm going to brush that off and start working that paint into the yellow. And finally for my last color I'm using salvage patina and again I'm wiping down my brush to get rid of some of that green with the paper towel. I'm going to go in and blot this around and then I can add this color to the bottom. For my added color on my inspiration I am using the Tim Holtz watercolor stamps and I'm using this heart stamp that's in the center of the stamp set. And I am choosing some white cardstock and some Simon Says Stamp inks to stamp these up. So my first color will be Peony. It is a really nice bright pink. And I'm just going to stamp this up in my Misty. And I'll press down on that door really well to get a really good impression. Next I'm using the Simon Says Stamp dies that coordinate with this stamp set. And it cuts all these hearts in one just like they're stamped all in one. So I'll line this really well, add some of my low tack tape, and run it through my die cut machine. And when I'm done, I have all my little separate hearts that I can start adding to my project. I've stamped and die cut more hearts in the five different colors so that I can add them to the project. Before I start putting everything together, I'm using some Dina Wakely black gesso and I'm just going to paint the outside of this frame. With the black on the top part of the frame, it's going to make the colors really pop underneath. And I'll also add some black gesso to the side edges of my panel. So you'll have a finished edge when you look at it from the side. And now I'm going to glue the top frame to the panel. I'm just using Simon's Stamp Craft Tacky Glue. This is a really good holding glue and it comes out in a nice fine tip nozzle. And once I put this over top you can see how those colors really pop. So I'm going to press this down and make sure it's well aligned and set it aside to dry. Now that my frame is dry, I'm starting to add some of my little hearts and I'm going to tuck these up right at the edge of the frame. So I want to trim off some from the top and these little stinkers kind of get stuck in my cutting tool. But I want this to, I'm going to edge it up so it's coming from the top. And to glue these down, I'm using my Simon's Stamp Craft Tacky Glue once again. And now I added my glue to the back and I can press this down and then push it up right to the edge of that frame. 
And I'll keep trimming up my little hearts. I'm starting from the outside and working in once again using my glue. And what I'm doing here, I'm also doing contrasting colors. So the green really contrasts against the pink and the pink really contrasts against the green and also the orange on blue. And then I can add some hearts into the center until I'm happy with the design. And now that my hearts are complete, I have die cut the Love You. And this is a two part die. I'm just using the fine line of the Love You. And I've stacked it up on some white cardstock and I've done about three layers so that it'll sit up with dimension. I've also cut it out from some silver cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. I'll just be adding some glue to the back of the die cut. And then I can add it to the stack of white die cuts. Using the wet glue allows me some time so I can move this around a little bit and make sure that I have everything aligned really well. To glue my message down in place, I'm also using my Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue. This is a really nice permanent glue. And this is perfect for placing over the other papers and also the background. So I wanna make sure that I have this really well lined up and then I can press it down in place. For some finishing touches, I've wrapped the entire frame with some cording that I had left over from Christmas. And then I'm gonna use my glue stick to add in some highlights of some foiling. This is super easy to do. You can just run your glue stick over that frame and it, since it's bumpy, it'll pick up on the top portions. Then you can lay your foil down in place and burnish it with your finger. I like to let this sit and dry for a little bit before I pull the foil up. And when I'm ready, I can just make sure that I have that burnished in really well with my finger once again, and then start lifting that foil up. And you can see that I have some really fun sparkle and shine. And this ties in everything from the silver lettering to that cording that I have on the outside of the frame. I hope you've enjoyed this project. It was really fun working from an inspiration piece full of color. I do have all my supplies listed in the description box below, along with a link to our blog post for additional information. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.